Today we're making lamb smash burgers. So we're going to start off with our cheesy sauce. So we've got feta, lemon juice, pepper, some natural yogurt and some mint leaves. We're going to get that whizzed up so we've got a nice creamy sauce. Then we're going to make some pink pickled onions. So we've just got some uh, red wine vinegar and some thinly sliced red onion. A bit of salt in there, a little bit, a little bit of sugar as well. Get that well combined. Now we're going to start with our mints. So we've got 20% fat lamb mints. And through that, we're just going to mix some freshly chopped mint. As you know, lamb and mint goes together really well. And some of this mint is going to char up on the grill. And he's going to add a really nice flavour to these patties. Once we've got that fully incorporated, we want to make our meatballs. So we're not going to make these too compressed. We're just going to gather some up. And 500 grams will give us six balls of a nice sort of size. We've got our Kamado lit. We've got a nice amount of charcoal in the bottom. And we've got our half moon cast iron plate sitting in there. So we're going to get our buns toasted. So once they're nice and toasted, we can get them off. A nice top and bottom bun. And then we've greased the surface a little bit and we're going to go on with our lamb burger balls. So we get that onto a really hot plancher and then we take our spatula, push down for about, I normally do about seven seconds. A lot of people say hold it for ten, but seven's fine. So we push that in and what this does is it forms a crust on the bottom of the burger. So everybody thinks that we're just pushing all the juices out. It doesn't, it gives you a really nice crust. We shut that lid down, not for long, only for about 30 seconds. And then once we lift the lid up, you can see that the burgers are almost cooked all the way through. And we're going on with a nice dollop of mint sauce. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook these like what, an animal style, which you would normally use mustard. But as we know, mint goes really well with lamb. So we're just a little dollop of that, spread it around, and then we're going to take our spatula and we are going to push right down into the grill so we make sure we take that crust with us and get that burger flipped over. Same with the second. And then we can shut our lid down again for about another 30 seconds. And then we can just check to see. It's gone all gnarly, which is just what we wanted. And we can get these off and ready to build. So onto our bottom bun, we're going on with some of them pink pickled onions. You don't need too many, just a nice little layer. That's got a nice acidity that's going to help cut through the fat. Then we've got our two patties on there nicely. On top of that, we're going on with that feta creamy sauce. So remember that there's yogurt and lemon juice and mint in there as well. And a bit of salt and pepper for our seasoning. Get a nice layer of that across the top of the burger. And then we're going to drizzle just a little bit of chilli oil on there just for a little bit of heat and it works really, really well. And then we've got some pea shoots and sort of baby salad leaves. Get them on the top. And then we can crown it off and we're done. So this is my smash lamb burgers with a nice creamy feta sauce. Give it a go.